Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will help you out with how you can import the NX Open templates into a Visual Studio template so that you can directly get started with the code into your Visual Studio solution. So I will first let you know what I mean by this. So you could see that I am launching a DLL file using execute user function option. And this DLL file is actually a Windows form. So once I locate the DLL, click OK. It launches the Windows form like this. And I do have a button on it. This button uh, I have created to show you and uh, verify that it connects to the uh, to the NX station. So this button gives me a very simple information like this. It gives me the machine information, the program information, and user information. So as I can see the program information NX12017, uh, which is the NX version that I do have. It means that my Windows form DLL file is able to access the information of a of a program and its version as well. This means that this uh, program is very well connecting with the with the index. Now let's see how I have created uh, this. So first of all, what you need to do, you need to go to your nx installation folder which is usually program files cmens then nx and uh, the version of nx that you do have under that you will find a ug open folder under that you will find nx open examples then vb then templates so what we have is under this nx open examples we only have the templates for vb VB means Visual Basic.net. So these templates are actually available in a zip format. So what you need to do, you need to copy these both templates. This is NX Open application template, and this one is NX Open Win WinForm application template. So you copy these both zip files, and you need to paste them into the Visual Studio folder. So first of all, you need to have your Visual Studio installed and you need to go to your PC documents, then Visual Studio, whichever version you have. And under that folder, you will find templates. Under this folder, you will find templates and there is project templates folder. Once you go there, you will find the different folders based on the programming language so i do have a folder for c sharp i do have a folder for visual basic i do have a folder for java as well so as those templates are from visual studio sorry visual basic so you need to go to visual basic and you just need to paste those those uh, template files here so once it is done if your visual studio is open actually you need to close it so I am launching a new Visual Studio then. So once you have this, you need to restart your Visual Studio. And once you restart, open your Visual Studio, go to create new project. Here I will choose Visual Basic. And in the search, I will type in NX. So this will locate my both templates from NX. So here I will pick up the template from uh, which one this one uh, this template i will pick up nx open wind form application and if i click next it will open a new project name and i can create it from here once i have created it i need to go to solution explorer under references these are the references that we require for nx but for some reason i could see a warning message here this means these dlls are not very well uh, added so those, those are not correctly added 
so this is due to something that i don't really know but i what i can do is i will remove these references and add them again maybe this might not be the the problem for you uh, because as we have the template readily the references should get added automatically but this is the case for me so i need to re-add them so once i do have re-added them i got these three files one is of course my program file uh, then other is a windows form file here again i see some error for me this error is because of the dotnet framework version so what i can do i can go here into debug and uh, properties and here i can find the target framework option and here i need to choose with the latest version that i have i can choose 4.7.2 or 4.8 as a dotnet framework version and i need to click yes to this uh, to this message if you if your program is directly connecting to the latest version of down uh, .NET framework then you may not get this uh, error now as i have connected to the .NET uh, framework the right version i can see this as a this as my windows form design now i can go to view enable toolbox uh, yeah i got it so i got it so from the whatever controls those are available for windows forms you can add them and build your form here for now i can add a button like this using drag and drop and you can i can click on the button here and then uh, i can write my code starting from here so it is a button click event that i am uh, writing a script for maybe you need to import uh, nx open other libraries required to to build uh, you, your script and once you have the script something like which i shown you in the beginning then similar to this this you can you can create but uh, the point to note here is that once i rebuilt this solution i get a dll file not a exe file okay with though it is a windows form we get a dll file out of it so this template is actually class library dll kind of template